Right, next on the list is me. And all I'm going to do is just do two minutes on um, on NGFL, because obviously that's why we cure for us. Oh, it's not going to be it's personal. Is it? <laughs> 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 we start the heat, <laughs> head the cakes, <laughs> the coffee. Yeah. No. I'm going to start. Oh, enjoy that. Thank you for coming anyway. Thank you. Right, Obviously, I'm not going to go into detail about it, obviously, because you're all um, avid users of, of, of the site. Um, we've recently been given additional funding from Welsh Government for it to continue until March 2013. Um, and between now and then, at some point, it will. Um, morph itself into some kind of learning Wales website or some learning platform for Wales or something of whatever. But whatever happens with it, all the content that currently exists will continue to be available. Um, 6,000 plus resources on the site, all free, 50,000 users per day from around the world, so a significant um, uh, set of traffic. Concentrating um, this year in development in terms of literacy and numeracy. But literacy and numeracy across Scripland, and I think that's important that we're not just doing English or we're not just doing maths, we're looking at literacy across the curriculum. A couple of key foci or foci focuses for us um, recently have been around good practice. Because what we're trying to do is engender effective use of the resources. So it's all very good, we can put as much stuff there as we want. But if people are not aware of it and people are not using it effectively, then you know we we, we miss it a trip. I don't know what's happened with this, the size of the display there. Um, but what you've got is um, some new good practice areas. We've got one which is using educational resources, um, using NGFL resources, but it's more focused around the output and the outcome. So rather than saying use a good use of ICT, what we say it is in all those words that you can't see is um, are you interested in looking at something that deals with literacy skills or are you looking at something that deals with transition or are you are looking at something that deals with the developing thinking so if i was interested in something of literacy i click literacy it then starts to filter my resources down so what we've done is tagged the content in such a way that says what is the focus of what we're trying to do so you can see a list that's being filtered then you can say well i'm interested in literacy in key stage one i'll filter by key stage one and then you're presented with a set of resources that deal with literacy at key stage one. Okay? And then you could select that particular resource. And the information we provide in there really is just how was it used? So as a teacher, a teacher somewhere who's written this up with us, what did they do with it? You know, how did they use it in the classroom? What were the the impacts and the outcomes? Mm -hmm. Quite a wobbly little mouse, this, isn't it? What were the impacts and the outcomes? What did the learners think of it? And importantly, I think, for, for other teachers is, what were the lessons learned? So as a teacher, what did I do? What would I have done differently? How would I have changed the way I use it? So again, it gives more information um, to, to others about how to use it effectively in the classroom. And then on the right-hand side, you've got some overview. You've got teacher guidance, because I think teacher guidance is important just to give you another context as to how the resource is used. You can open the resource, so I found my bit of good practice, or oh, I like that as an idea. I can click on open resource. It takes me directly to that resource on the site, and from there, I can click open and start to use that resource. Okay? And this is an example of a resource that we've developed for um, foundation phase, um, probably about 25 activities, 30 stories-ish, just within that one resource. Um, Mel will show you a little bit more Penderbach stuff, in, and us, not Merthyr Penderbach, <laughs> us, Penderbach, the S4C television series. But, you know, you can use it any way you want. So again, what you're able to do is come from the resource, can't get out of the resource, but... come from the good practice to the resource, and vice versa, if I was looking at that resource, and I was interested in how it being used effectively, there is a good practice button on the bottom left. So again, you can get to it from, from multi-locations. The other thing that we've been developing is some tools to support thinking. Okay? And again, on that little button there that you can't see, tools to support development of thinking. What you've got is when you click on it, five links to resources there, right? But 
But if you're a registered user, and I don't know how many of you are registered, and honestly, simple process to register. Um, once you log in, you get about 40 or 50 of those resources. So I'll just log in to show you what you'll see if you're a registered user. The other benefit of registering is that we're able to email you as we add new resources. So you might come in, you say, I'm interested in foundation phase, I'm interested in primary. And as we add new resources, we'll send you an email to say there's new stuff added to the site, okay? But if I click on good practice now, and I click on tools to support development of thinking, now what I've got is a huge list of resources, majority of which are PowerPoint, and they're templates. So any of those activities that you might want to use, you just click on it, you drop your own pictures, you drop your own text, your own words into it, press the button, and that resource will run for you. Because all too often what we've found, we've been out doing loads of these presentations, and teachers are saying, yeah, but I don't want that picture, I don't want that bit of text, I want to drop my own information in there. So that's what we've done, created these set of tools that allows you to, to, to use them in, in a flexible manner. Okay? So they're the key areas that we're keen to push, and this is about the kind of good practice, this is about the professional development, what we're doing here is about engaging with you, giving you the opportunity to share your ideas, and from that, you might be using our resources, in a good and effective way. And you might want to share that with us, and we'll come out, one of our field officers will come out and work with you to develop that, and that can then be shared by others. Because from the community, I mean the good practice is in the classroom, isn't it, at the end of the day? It's not about us sat somewhere doing something, it's about the good practice is in the classroom, and we need to find ways of sharing that and aggregating that um, for everybody. And then the other thing, just quickly to show, is, you know, today's session is about Moodle, and, and that's part of what we, we're talking about. But the ability to use NGFL resources within Moodle, and I'm no Moodle expert by any stretch of the imagination, as you'll see now when I show you um, what I created. I mean, it's, there's no format, you know, there's no pretty pictures, nothing like we've seen today, right? But in principle, what I did just before I came out of the office was just to show you how easily NGFL company resources can be embedded within Moodle. So I've talked about Pentrabach, okay, so I've created this, um, this course, and I've said let's look at linking to Pentrabach resources, and a simple web link, which probably all of you that are using Moodle are able to do, just directly opens the Pentrabach resource, okay? So that's there, you can use that, we've linked to it on the internet. And that's a useful way of doing it, because if we update the resource, you always get the latest resource, okay? The other option you've got is you can obviously download it, so what I've done here, I've downloaded it, I've uploaded it into Moodle, and then I've gone directly to one element of that holistic thing that I just showed you there. So now, here's one of the stories from Pendrabach. And I can play the story, and I can... It's Saturday, and Mr. Caradog is busy. We must get everything ready for Sunday, he says as he waters the flowers. Okay, and then associated with that, there's an activity, so same principle, I've downloaded the activity, I've uploaded it into Moodle, and now I'm running that activity directly with it. Can you help me put up the hymn numbers for today's service? Click on the smiley face to begin. He's got quite a manly female voice. <laughs> <laughs> It'd worry you a little bit more what he does on a Saturday, wouldn't it? <laughs> but you know, the, the principle and the ease. And honestly, I, I, I'm not a Moodle user. I just did that in about 10 minutes because I just thought it just shows. And I think that's, you know, one of the things that sometimes we miss with Moodle. Sometimes with Moodle, we see it as a basis of creating things. We've got to create things. We've got to put these quizzes in. We've got to do this. We've got to do that. There's a whole host of stuff that already exists. And it's just about how we embed that into the resource, okay? And similarly, I did one more. We've got a, a resource which has recently gone up on places of worship, which... Um, Martin and Mel have been heavily involved in the development of, and we've got some video um, activities within there. Oh, you've got the video, and then you've got a set of questions, okay? So look at the video, what is it telling us? What do we think about it? Why do Christians like this? And, and all those sorts of things. But then, just in my own simple way, and I haven't used the right tool, but I've then just created a little quiz which gives me a set of questions. So I've watched the video, now I've used a set of questions. And if I'd used the right quiz tool, you probably could type in there as well, couldn't you? Instead of just presenting you with a question. <laughs> but, but you see, you know, two minutes, 
And you can create that interactive. You can just take the video, put the video up, let's ask the questions, get the feedback from the kids. So again, it's not about using the whole thing holistically. It's about, it's the creativity around it, really. Download it, blend it into what you're doing, okay? And then uh, Mel will show you some of the, the Pendermark stuff in a little bit more detail when she's up next. Okay, thank you. Hey.